Hey there, welcome to this section working with particle system. In this section, first of all, we're going to learn about the particle system in Unity. Then we're going to create a simple particle effect and we're going to learn to work with different modules of this particle system. Now, in this first video, getting started with particle system, we're going to start by creating a new particle system. Then we're going to tweak the different basic properties of the particle system. And we're going to also learn about the duration, looping, lifetime, and many other features of this basic module. So let's get started. So here I'm back inside the Unity scene. To learn about particles, I'm going to go ahead and create a new scene here. So I'm going to go to File, New Scene, and I'm going to save this scene inside the Scenes folder. I'm going to save this scene as Particle Test. Click on Save. Now I'm going to go to my main camera. From the clear flags, select solid color and for the background color, let's make it black so that we can see the particles clearly and better. So now that we have done it, we need to go ahead and create a new particle system. To do that, I'm going to go to create effects particle system. And as you can see here, we have a particle system right here and we can simply go to this gear icon, click on reset and now it will be at center. Now I can double click to zoom in. To this particle system and as you can see here from this particle systems some particles are getting emitted and they are moving and going towards this direction from this direction to this direction so this is the particle system in unity and we can use it to create various different cool effects like fire tornado or clouds snowfall anything any effect that you want can be created using this particle system if we learn to use it efficiently. So this is how it looks like by default. And here as you can see we have these options to pause this effect, stop this effect and restart this effect and we can do it anytime that you want. So if the particle effect stops, you can simply click on play and it will start getting played again and you can stop it to stop the particle effect. On the inspector as you can see here we have all the different options of this particle system. So now the very first option is called duration. That means for how much time the particle system will keep running. As you can see here it is set to 5 by default. That means it will run for 5 seconds. So we can go ahead and make it 1 and now if I go ahead and click on play as you can see it should run for 1 second but as you can see it is running again and again. And that's because we have this looping option checked here. And if I simply go ahead and uncheck it, now as you can see, it will not loop again and again. It will simply play for one second and then it will stop. So now the duration of the particle system is set to one second. Every time I play it, it will be played for one second and then it will stop. So now that we have learned about the duration and looping, let us learn about few more features. As you can see here, we have something called start lifetime. That means for how much time the particles that are getting created will stay in the scene. As you can see here it is set to 5. That means the effects or the particles will be in the scene for 5 seconds. I can simply go ahead and make it 1. And now if I click on play as you can see the particles will be deleted after 1 second. Just after 1 seconds they will go away. So I can make the start lifetime value even lower. Let's say I make it 0.5. And now you can see that it will be deleted after 0.5 seconds. Also, I can make it random between two constants. So if I click on this drop down menu, I can select this random between two constants. So that means, let's say I make the higher value 2 and the lower value 0.5. Let me click on play. As you can see, some of them will stay for longer, some of them will stay for shorter. So as you can see, this is how it's happening. So this way we can set a random value as their lifetime. So let me go ahead and make it 0.5 as we had it before. Also we can change the size as we want. As you can see the size is set to 1. I can change it to 5 let's say. And if I click on play as you can see the particles are much bigger. And I can also set it random between two constants. So let me go ahead and make it 1 again. Also as you can see here we have something called start color. Using this color, we can change the color of the particles that are getting created here. Another thing you will see is that here we have something called play on awake. That means whenever we play the scene, this particle effect 
will be played automatically. And if we uncheck this, then it will not be played automatically. So let me go ahead and test it. First of all, let me go ahead and click on play. And as you can see, this time the particle effect will be played automatically. And now if I uncheck this play one away, and now if I click on play, now you will see the particle effect will not be played. We have to manually play it in the scene either by creating a script or by doing some other things. So these are the basic modules of the particle system and these are the basic things that you need to know when you get started.